Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to highlight a picture in Mac. Right, so this is what I have done and this looks beautiful. So I was struggling to get uh, this thing. I was not able to highlight and I was uh, trying some other options. So today I found out how to highlight uh, a portion of image in Mac, particularly in Mac preview, all right? So this is what I did. Uh, let me show you how I did. So let me start again, right? Um, okay. So this is my image. Uh, for example, if I have to highlight the playlist now, what I'll do, click on this. Okay, so you notice that this is disabled. So you, you will not be able to highlight using the default highlighter. And this only works on text based, for example, the PDF. But image, how do we highlight like this, right? So let me show you. First, first of all, click on this markup. This menu will appear. So here, you select a, for example, yeah, circle. So this is how it looks. Since I have already modified, that's that's why it comes like this. By default, it will be something like this, right? Okay, something like this, right? not be able to I mean use it as a highlighter so for that what you need to do is remove the border first so let me remove the border okay no border. this is border and then this is a color to be filled for the shape right so what you need to do we don't need to remove if you remove nothing will be there but we have to uh, we have to go to more colors and then select the opacity that's the important aspect here so if you decrease the opacity this will look transparent and it looks as if you are highlighting the uh, portion of the image right so more you uh, i mean if you need more visibility decrease the opacity right and change the color as you wish but if most of the cases we highlight with yellow color right so select yellow color and then change the opacity yeah and of course you have a color picker just select this done since this is okay yeah that's how you highlight in mac preview application okay let me change the color change the opacity all right now the question you may ask do i need to do that every time no not really for example i will keep this as my standard uh, highlighter right so i'll copy and then paste move wherever you want resize it so that you maintain the same opacity same color copy this paste okay you can remove this paste it here all right so this way we we can maintain the same uh, level of opacity and the color combination exactly same right okay uh, this is one way to highlight and of course you have other options to circle them circle them or put it in a uh, rectangular shape right so for example if i have to highlight this in different way what i select i'll select this curved square okay so this now looks no border with opacity set to whatever percentage now i'm going to set back the uh, border and then remove the fill right this now this looks okay this is another way to highlight okay anything for that matter you can select this lasso star or this hexagon okay this i'll tell you what it is okay guys so that's how you highlight things in Mac preview.
so i think this is the most important aspect when i was struggling i just got to know that there is an option okay and there are the ways to do this this is uh, i think little simpler than this and of course the there's one more option okay so i don't know what exactly this is called but this option will hide or you know gray out the rest of the area except the one which you want in this case i want to highlight the only my logo right and rest i'll keep as is okay this is how it looks okay let me show you a bigger picture okay i mean basically you highlight only the part which you want rest of the image will be blurred or it's said to dim right so that's another way to highlight things but i don't think this is uh, usable uh, un until unless you have a different specific uh, uh, reason or a specific uh, um, result but this should work most of the cases let me undo this okay so this should be the best option among others thank you guys thanks for watching check out my channel for other useful videos see you later